The only context where um, high cholesterol high cholesterol may be an issue um, is in. What's up, guys? Um, I thought I'd record this video because I just got back from the gym, um, had some berries, and actually some whey protein isolate after the gym. Don't generally recommend either of those two things if you're flaring or trying to heal, um, unless it's Absorb Plus, actually, and I'll leave a link if you want to go and check that out. It'll be either above or below this video, depending on where you're watching this. But wanted to speak very briefly about the topic of saturated fat. I think a lot of people are afraid of saturated fat. They're afraid of animal foods. They think that red meat is very inflammatory. It's going to give you cancer. Um, saturated fat, dietary saturated fat is going to raise your cholesterol, which is going to predispose you to a whole bunch of metabolic disorders. And uh, I don't really believe that that's the case. It's certainly not the experience I've had in my own body. It's not the experience my clients have had. Um, and it's not the experience that a large number of um, carnivore or animal-based people in that community have had either. Um, saturated fat, eating a lot of saturated fat in the context of ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease usually means that you're giving your gut a lot of rest because Protein and fat is broken down and absorbed primarily in the upper parts of your digestive tract. So it's broken down in your stomach and then absorbed in your small bowel. Uh, the breakdown uh, actually continues uh, in your small bowel, but then it's primarily absorbed in your small bowel. So you're, getting a, you're giving a lot of your digestive system a rest by consuming a heavily animal-based uh, diet. Bowel rest is one of, if not the main factor that's going to drive your success both short and long term um, as it relates to not having IBD symptoms. Um, secondly, consuming a lot of saturated fats generally means that your diet is fairly low carb slash low residue and therefore you're doing a reset from a gut bacteria point as well. It's primarily sugar and starch and fiber, it, kind of the same thing. Um, that will uh, feed your gut bacteria. And doing a reset from a gut bacteria perspective is a very good idea uh, in the context of IBD. For the most part, people with the diagnosis will um, have some form of imbal imbalance um, and overgrowth of specific gut bacteria. And uh, yeah, generally speaking, a carnivorous or animal-based diet will do wonders in driving down the number of bad um, gut bacteria. There are some cases, and I've had clients that fall into this category, where there will be an imbalance towards bacteria that actually thrive on animal fats and animal foods, essentially. Um, those people are way fewer in number um, than the people who have an imbalance towards bacteria that thrive on sugar and starch. So yes, there will be some people that do not respond very well to a large amount of red meat and specifically fat, saturated fat. But for the most part, it will do wonders in um, giving you a lot of bowel rest, which is very important, and doing a reset from a gut bacteria point of view, which is very important as well. So I just wanted to hop on here and say that also, actually, there's a bunch of new science, new studies now that show that uh, lower cholesterol um, is actually linked with an increase in all-cause mortality. That is to say, um, low cholesterol means you're going to die sooner. There's a whole bunch of science and studies coming out um, pointing that out right now. The only context where um, high, cholesterol, high cholesterol may be an issue um, is in the context of um, insulin resistance or some form of pre-existing metabolic dysfunction, which almost always will not have been caused by a high fat diet. So if you have diabetes or some form of metabolic dysfunction, some form of vascular damage, then yes, uh, you know, there is an argument to say that high cholesterol is not the best idea. But outside of that, I really don't think it's anything that we need to worry about. Um, if anyone is uh, struggling to heal and or stay healthy, you feel like you've tried everything, you don't know what to do once you get past the elemental diet or get past um, a carnivore diet to resolve symptoms. If you don't know what to do, 
regards fruit and vegetables, fermented foods, dairy, staying healthy, alcohol, caffeine, etc. Um, feel free to get in touch at the link either above or below this video and I'll help you out. Um, and that's it. Have a good day.